India is in the midst of an unprecedented construction boom. About 75% of the buildings expected to exist in 2030 have not been built, particularly in urban residential areas with devastating impacts on the energy and climate change policies. The Global Buildings Performance Network's research shows that with ambitious actions it is possible to avoid carbon lock-in associated with new buildings in India. This would prevent a 700% increase in energy consumption in buildings and CO2 emissions by 2050 compared to 2005 levels. How can India deliver this mitigation potential from buildings? To investigate this topic, the GBPN has recently commissioned the Economist Intelligent Unit to undertake a survey on how companies in the real estate and construction sectors approach energy efficiency investments in India. This report from the GBPN network highlights the challenges and opportunities they face and suggests how policies can drive investments in energy efficient buildings. India stands out as the country which is experiencing the largest growth in new construction. Around about 35 billion square metres of new construction is expected between now and 2050. And most of this new construction is happening in the residential sector. Many of the, the inhabitants of India are moving from the rural to urban areas, um, which is causing a lot of pressure in uh, some of the big cities in India. So trying to find a way to create affordable housing quickly that's efficient and comfortable um, for residents in cities is extremely important. Best case scenario, just to provide thermal comfort in India, if we assume full implementation of existing codes, is a 400% increase in energy demand from buildings. So there's a challenge in India, obviously, of keeping pace with the rate of new construction and also being able to influence the market so that the new construction that does come on stream is energy efficient. But it's also an opportunity because if you think about it from um, a market perspective, there is a potential market there for new technologies, innovation, a whole range of energy services that could help provide comfort that people are looking for without the need for extensive use of energy for air conditioning and so forth. There has been a lot of policies that has been initiated, starting from energy codes to labelling programs, uh, market transformation through more investments in the sector. We really need to uh, move from policy to implementation. Businesses are in an uncertain situation, uh, sometimes because uh, the policy signals are not clear and sometimes um, uh, they are not sure whether the investment that they will make is going to pay off uh, in the short or at least in the medium term. absolutely imperative that we start to look at the residential sector and it starts to come up with energy efficiency guidelines and some of the more sort of sustainable policies and technologies that can be used uh, to promote a more sustainable housing sector that will fulfill the aspirations of the Indian people without degrading the environment. I believe that uh, policymakers have a very very important role to play here. Um, uh, especially I think in terms of giving the business confidence that uh, India is open to business and India is really interested in fast-tracking building energy efficiency and it cannot be done without the help of private sector. Both businesses as well as the government, they need to work together and I think they need to support each other. Government uh, needs to, I think, provide the right signals to the industry and the industry should come forward. But we do need a little bit of, I think, help in creation of awareness and in sort of like making the business case for energy efficiency. The benefit of GVPN is that it is working in four regions. So there is a very strong case that can be made for cross-pollination across different regions. Lessons learned. Uh, in applying best practice policies in different regions can be shared in, globally. And uh, what is happening in Euro Europe in terms of the deep retrofit? I mean, India may not be in a position right now 
to act, execute those kind of policies. But India has to have like an ambition that we need to be on the cutting edge of building energy efficiency. And that's where GBPN can really bring in the best practices from Europe or from, um, uh, from US. Documenting policies that work and we can come up with recommendations on how they can better implement. GBPN stands to play a critical role in educating the policymakers as well as identifying some key interventions that focus on building energy efficiency in the residential sector, focus on thermal comfort, revise your thermal comfort standards based on the scientific research that is happening. I think it's things like that that can make a huge impact, I think, over the next 10, 20 years that, that would be really, really important.